Hey everyone, so this is the promised overview of the new desk and the overview of Avenger Pro. Right now I have a, well this is just a desktop bitmap so it's not actually gameplay. I've downloaded the screenshot from uh, uh, internet about five years ago and this one is a little bit tweaked out Ellie dangerous view and it's corrected for full 180 if I'll zoom out you might have a better idea it, lo it looks pretty much perfect when you have a look around it does look super cool but what I would like to show you today, it's the new desk. Right now, I have a keyboard on the side. Um, I have the Thrustmaster Warthog throttle and stick with simple extension. I've got the pad holder. If you'll give me a second, I will bring a pad and put it on. Here we go, so the tab is on. I can put there, um, an example, a rocket power grade or something and then i can control system so i can have a look what i'm doing with uh, the gopro hopefully it's gonna work uh, down here that's the new system for for stick and if you remove the one screw down here one screw on the other side then you can pop the whole thing up and move it uh, backwards or forwards depending on uh, where you want to have your uh, stick exactly and uh, it's connected to the pedals and then the whole thing is connected to the sides of the desk so if you push on a pedals on a both like an example when you're car racing it doesn't move anything same with the uh, flying in the flying usually that's that's like a pendulum so one goes forward the other one goes back it's not much of a problem, but still it's nice to have it uh, firmly fixed. Uh, next thing is the bridge. Uh, you can use it for a couple of different things. Um, you can use it for monitors. Uh, pop it on, I will show you uh, very shortly. I will try to do it one-handed. If I can't do that, I will have to pop the GoPro on and do it with a GoPro which doesn't have that great quality unfortunately but I will try so that's the monitor attachment it's a very simple hook system I'll show you how it works the next I've got here is a side stick attachment that's well used uh, so it's one of the first prototypes so when I was figuring out what works what doesn't it doesn't look that pretty. I will have to recut it and uh, use the production version. And that thing uh, is for the side stick. So I'll, usually what I do, I'll take the extension off. Then I swap the base from there to here. And then it goes on a side like this. And this system is a little bit like a pegboard. So you can select different heights and also you can move it forward or backward depending on what you want same thing works with the throttle so it can go up and out oh, this thing is heavy you can move it forward up down backwards uh, my favorite spot is over here i'll put you down for a little moment guys here we go and it's locked back in place and then you can use the drawl as usual well one-handed operation with the heavy stuff or well not heavy but heavier stuff that's a little bit more difficult than I, than I thought. So I am very curious how I'm going to do with the monitor. But let's give it a shot. 
so that's where it goes and it looks like it lock itself in a place quite well and with a monitor typically you have to mask it off to make sure there's no uh, projected light on it there's a little bit of uh, light projection but it's not that bad and again if you want to take it out here we go and it's gone next what, what, can, what you can put on is the uh, racing extension the same system um, we'll try to do it probably with the GoPro with uh, the uh, with one hand I don't think I will, I will risk it and for side attachment same system you can use the handbrake and shift stick there is a bunch of holes so you can slide it sideways and then uh, you can use the uh, cutouts on a handbrake to slide it forward and the same thing goes for the shift stick it can go forward and back so you can get a perfect alignment that suits you uh, with the pedals so that's the same base that's the base for a simple uh, there's a one screw second screw when you, when you pop it out you can swap it over and it goes there so you un uh, unclip the cable pop one two uh, uh, screws out lift it off and uh, uh, racing pedals goes in super simple everything is designed so you can do it very fast very easy and some stuff you can do even one-handed uh, the bridge is fairly strong I know the cockpit doesn't look like a race car but I wanted to show you the Fanatec installed over here so the attachment slides into those holes and then it locks underneath that means you cannot slide it backwards because that's locked uh, it doesn't move sideways and if you try to move it up it doesn't go up either but you don't need any tools to take it off it's a very simple way which I'll try to demonstrate with one hand so you move it up and back which pops this just over and then you can lift it up and forward and you can lift it up and here we go this is the keyboard extension if you don't like the keyboard on the side you can put it over here one-handed left-handed same thing that goes down here and forward and it's locked in a place and you cannot lift it up you cannot go sideways and it's solid then the keyboard goes on top here we go and that's the view uh, right now I've, I've got it on my eye point so you, you could if I'll be sitting there with my uh, feet on a control so you would be my uh, you would be seeing my toes dangling there and that's my view there's the pet throttle and when I'm flying Elite Dangerous I usually put the stick on the side or I can put it down here funny enough it does fit with the keyboard extension on two there we go let's do it one handed Here we 
go. Yeah. So you can fly with the stick underneath and then just type over here. Oh, that's the pet. So you can see how you can change how you can change the angle. At the moment, I've, I've got it out uh, down here, stored, and that gives me more room for the mouse, and I don't need stuff over here because I've got a mouse, a stick, a keyboard, and that's plenty. And the left hand then can take care of all the buttons and switches here. And if I need something else, there's a pad, and I can put one more iPad over here. Here we go. All right, storage space for computer. Nice and simple gate. Out it goes, and you can slide the computer in and out. locked um, cable management you can do cable management at the back and there's a couple of uh, outlets goes in and out over here there's a couple of holes for better ventilation if you have a computer in there and all the cables um, when uh, when I've got it set up for uh, longer term use uh, usually I'll route it through the legs or at the back of the at back of the system and then over here there's a one axis hole so you can go through there and the same is for the other side when you have the uh, a subwoofer like I do or if you if you choose to put there something else uh, at the moment I was gonna show you. Yeah, head tracking. That works really well, mainly for a parallax correction. So you can look uh, behind cockpit objects. And I cannot think about anything else on a new desk. So what I will show you now is the Avenger Pro. It's got a, a system for projectors where you can uh, change the angle, so you can uh, slide, it, slide the projectors uh, closer or further out from the screen and also um, you can uh, slide them backwards or forwards. And the projector holders have got a, a nifty feature for adjusting angle, so if you loosen up that nut and the nut on the other side then you can uh, change the angle higher up or lower and then uh, if you really really need to there's a couple of screws on the top and you can balance the projector um, really precisely but usually what I do is just to yeah that's what's described in the manual cable management system it is super simple uh, from projectors I'm always saying run the cables through the holes if you can and then uh, through the through the tubes down and into the computer and over there through the leg behind the screen down and into the computer and then you don't have any cables hanging anywhere and it's nice and neat If you have a different projectors with different throw, then you can adjust the height. There's a couple of screws which allows the whole system to slide down or lift it back up if you need to. Uh, it's quite quite nice feature uh, if you need a little bit more headroom. If you do trade shows, or if you have a lot of uh, a lot of people coming in and out, or if you if you have a kids that, that like to jump, it's a little bit easier if you lift it up so you don't you know, they don't bang their heads all the time. And 
yeah, the screen. Um, I think you can see the the lights are on in a room, and it's got a fairly good blacks. Uh, the colors are pretty good too. I think um, over there you can see how the black would look if that was not on that surface, and that's that's how it looks on the surface. Right. That's about it. So pretty much I should just shut up and play.